Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Excitec BIM 360 surgery. Today it's number 24, and this morning I'm going to take a look at the new feature for meeting minutes. So this was announced um, last week as a new update to the project management module. And it's the ability to put in meeting agendas, capture minutes, and then do lots of other little things. So I'm just going to explore this whole new aspect in BIM 360. So um, it will be available on all projects. Um, if you have the project management service enabled. So to access it, I'm in a BIM 360 surgery project that I usually use most weeks. I can click the hub and I can select project management as the service I need to look at. So you will see once this loads, there is a new tab at the top and you can see it's still marked as preview, but as far as I know, it's fully available. So I can click into the meetings tab and you will see you're presented with a very similar sort of BIM 360 screen and you've got a calendar on the left where you can actually if you've got lots of meetings you can start to filter and select date ranges if you've got any today so it's really just a filtering of when your meetings are there so you can see you basically you can select a range from here to here and it will show you all the meetings if there's any you can clear it and then you can go today's meetings this week and then this month but obviously in this project I've got nothing so I'm gonna do everything from scratch so a couple of sort of rules around how this works so in this project I'm the project administrator and as a project administrator I will see everyone's meetings and agendas so once other project members create them I will have the ability as project admin to see them all if I'm a project member I will only see the meetings and the agendas that I organize. So if I'm creating a meeting and I don't want other people to see it, I simply don't invite them to the meeting. So the project admin sees everything and then the organizers are, will only see their own meetings and agendas. So it's sort of split into two aspects. One, there is a meeting and then that's split into an agenda and then meeting minutes so if we just simply select the create new meeting you'll see that it automatically loads into the next screen and it's given me the ability to set up and create this meeting so you can see it gives you meeting number one and it's got an untitled and you'll see currently it's got an orange tag so the orange is for agenda when it becomes meeting minutes it will turn to blue so when you see the meetings back on the home screen they will be tagged blue or orange so orange will be an agenda and then once that converts into meeting minutes it will turn blue so let's create a meeting let's look at what's involved so i'm just going to go bim 360 surgery meetings review so i'm going to create in a an agenda based upon what I'm actually doing today in the surgery so you can see that I specify a date for the meeting which is today I can say the time which is let's say it's 11 and we're gonna go to 11 30 a.m. the location is my office and you can then start to add in a description now one thing to note that the title of the meeting is static so that will stay with the meeting you can edit it but what I mean by that is that if we create what we call a follow-up meeting that meeting name is carried through so just be a little bit careful about when you're creating a meeting so this meeting is about reviewing So again, you just add in a description and that will then carry through to all subsequent uh, follow-up meetings. So the title and the description follow through. So you then create a series of discussions. So you can see you've got a topic and I'm just gonna go new features. 
as my topic and then I create items. So show how to access meetings tab. So that's a simple task that I've, I've shown the new feature of how to access, how to create a, a meeting. And again, you just simply add these in. You can click enter and it will go to the next one. You'll see as you create these, you have a, a topic open or closed. And you can see that you can minimize or expand that section. So I can add another new topic. So I can then add in how to export to PDF and you can write in whatever you want on these issues. So you can see that what happens is that the changes are automatically saved. So if I go back, you will see that on my home screen, then I've got my minute, it shows the title, date, time, location. You'll see you've got follow up. That will be for if we create a follow up meeting on the back of this one. So we click into it. So this is currently my basic features. You can see I've got a meeting summary, but I've not actually had the meeting yet because I'm still in an agenda. What I can now do is start to add other project members in. You will see you've got uh, invitees panel. You can close it down on the top right. And you can see that because I've organized it, I'm up as the organizer. You'll see you've got a little circle for you can mark as attended, but I'm not in sort of meeting mode yet. So I want to add in some other people that I want to attend. So I'm going to click Carl from the Exitec sales team and then my alter ego as on a separate user, which is there and they're both getting added to the thing. You can see that you can go to add in invitees and you can create a non member. So you can say if they're not within the BIM 360 um, project or they're not as a member or a user on the BIM 360 hub, you can just create them. So I can say Mickey Mouse is attending and he's from Disney and I can create and he can be added is as a member but not a, not, a, not a member of the BIM 360 hub. So if somebody's sitting in on the meeting, and you can see then they will get added in here. So when you add invitees, you can then click the three dots, and you can actually make them an organizer, so then they can actually control and then will have full access to adjusting the content within it, or you can say that they have removed so you can see there we've got everything starting to get in place. So you can see there's the agenda, there's the meeting. People as part of this will get email notifications to say there is a meeting and they're part of this and they need to attend and then go through the issues on the meeting. So if we click into our meeting again, let's start to go. So. We've got the agenda, everyone has attended, it's 11 a.m. and we can now start to go through and have our meeting. So I can say that I have attended and Jonathan has attended. Unfortunately, Carl has not made it and we can, let's say Mickey Mouse is also here. So we have the attendance register so we can simply just click on and off and they're here. So now we can start to go through and do the meeting. So let's have a look at the discussion. We have the new features we've got. Okay. So the first topic in the meeting is let's show how to access the meetings tab. What we can do is we can have a discussion about that and then we can say, okay, we've marked that as closed or we can reopen so you can open or close the issue. But what we can also do as you hover over it, you will see that you've got a little drag move sign. So you can actually move stuff up and down if you wish. What we can also do is click the plus sign to the left of the meeting topic and you can see that we can now start to assign actions and due dates for these tasks within the meeting. So I can say okay show how to access the meetings tab that's going to be assigned and it's going to be assigned to myself. 
As soon as I click out of the dialog box, you'll see my little face then appears and it's now assigned. I can also click in and assign a due date of today. So that is on the back of this. This is what I have to do. How to create a meeting. Again, I can click, I can then assign. I can also click a due date of here. So I can say, okay, I've done that and I've closed that issue and I've closed that issue. So you can see that you can assign it. You can then track who is doing what, when they're doing it and how they're doing it. So I can also go how to export. So I'm going to go, I'm going to assign that again to myself and I'm going to make the due date tomorrow. So I'm going to say, okay, I can't do that now. I'm going to do that tomorrow. So I've closed two of my issues and I've left one open. I can then add in your meeting summary of what happened. And what we're going to do is create a follow up meeting. Once I learn to spell. Okay, so what I'm going to say is we've discussed all the topics and what I want to do is create a follow-up meeting for this topic that has not been resolved. So there is my meeting summary and I've done everything and what we can now do is you can lock the meeting and mark it as minutes. So what this does, it moves it from the agenda state to a minute state. So we've had the meeting and then it becomes locked and this is all locked down so if i click mark as minutes you will see it's changing the minutes to lock the meeting organizers can reopen it at any time so once the organizer does it the members that are part of the meeting can't change it so we mark as minutes you will see that the tag now changes to minutes if we click back to our home screen you will see that it's now got a blue tag that it is minutes so you can see Everything is locked, it's non-editable, unless I go and I reopen the meeting. So if I click reopen, it now goes back to an agenda state. I can again switch it back to Marcus Minutes, and we're now back to where we were. But we still have this outstanding item, and what I want to do is create a follow-up meeting. So you'll see up the top, you've got an export button, and then a follow-up meeting. What happens with a follow-up, it takes all the open tasks outstanding and moves them automatically into the agenda for the next meeting. So you can see the minutes are here, there's two closed. As soon as I go follow-up meeting, it's going to go follow-up meeting, will copy current meeting description, the open agenda items, the invitees and the location. So I'm going to say, okay, let's have this meeting tomorrow. And I click create. And you will see now at the top, the number in the meeting is changed to 02. You will see that the title remains the same. And you can see you can select this drop down and you can actually switch between the two meetings that are now linked. You see on the 7th of February, this minute is marked as minutes. That's done. And then for tomorrow, we've got the 8th, which is then meeting number two. And it's a follow up. And you will see that the only task that's followed through is how to export. If we click back out, you will see we now have meeting number one, which is blue, and then we've got our orange or amber. So if we click in to meeting two, you'll see it's the same principle where we can go, okay, I've attended this time, Carol has attended, and Mickey Mouse has attended. We can go in here, okay, although I'm a day ahead, I'm just going to say that that is closed. So how do we how do we export to PDF? I'm going to show you that right now. So I'm going to finish this meeting. All issues discussed and reviewed. So that is now marked as closed. I'm going to mark this as minutes. And then I'm going to click the export button. So when I click export. So it's generating the PDF preview.
will take a little second or two depending on how busy the server is. Um, previously, just before the meeting, I did run a PDF off. So you can see this is a review of a previous meeting. Let's have a look. You'll see that the meeting is generated. BIM 360 Surgery Meeting Review. Let's save that to the desktop. We save it. Let's click into it. And this is our PDF review. So you will see at the top it's got the project, the hub, the title of the meeting. You've got your logo, the date, who attended, who didn't the description, what was closed and what wasn't. If we click into the number one meeting, we can then export that out. And then we can then just Save that over the previous. Let's have a quick look. And there you have it. You can see that it's got the attendance record, it's got the description, it's then got what was closed, what wasn't. And it's really simple, really easy to use. And that's pretty much it. So a nice little new feature gives the ability to track all the information that you need for all your meetings and then manage it. And if you go back in here, you can then see, go see so this week we've got this. If we want to go to today, we've got this meeting. The week will then show two. So if you've got hundreds of meetings, really easy to manage. Click into each one, then review. Reopen it if you need to change. You have got a filter button where you can actually start to control and filter any items if it's to me. So if I want to say if it's a rather big meeting and it goes to anything assigned to Carl, you will see that there's nothing. So it's a really good way of checking if you've got anything to do, anything to follow up on. So let's see, has Mickey Mouse got anything? Click in here, click apply, and you'll see that there's nothing. But if we clear the filter, you then show the information that's applicable to that person. So that's pretty much it for today. Thank you very much for joining me on this surgery. Don't forget to join me again next week when we do another surgery. And I'll see you all soon. Have a good weekend.